good guys welcome back to ron's rides welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where again it is a family affair last week we saw a gracale trofeo testing with the facelifted 2023 alfa romeo stelvio now we have a gracale gt testing with a alfa romeo julia and also a new alfa romeo stelvio as well so the 2023 models are out in full force now keep in mind we're seeing spy shots from gabe tz spy unit i will link his page in the description below and also keep in mind that these are all part of the family and built in the same casino factory so seeing the three of these cars testing together makes sense now when we look at the Ricale, it looks like it's testing in the color grigio lava which is a paint job that costs around 800 dollars now that's what it looks like from here but if you guys see a different shade in this color let me know what you guys think down in the comments below but i believe it's grigio lava now keep in mind the gt is the entry level version of the Gricale, so you can see pretty standard pieces you can see chrome all around where you see in the door handles the gt badge and portholes on the front fender and also the trident on the c pillar what you will also see is Maserati's new front fascia, all done in chrome with the vertical blades, the big trident up front, Maserati's new 2022 emblem, and the new MC20 style headlights with the full LED tails in the rear. Now for the Julia, there was only one shot you could see in the Julia with the Gricale, but you can also see a lot of the Stelvio here, and we know that both the Alfa Romeo Stelvio and the Julia will be getting a facelift for 2023. And this restyling will be one of the next important innovations for the Alfa Romeo car manufacturer. And rumors are saying that the arrival will take place next summer, so we might see the facelifted update late this year. And there's not much that we know about the restyling. We do know that there will be some slight cosmetic changes to the shield and the logo, the headlights, the grill and the bumper, but without changing much of the bodywork. And we know that the car could have the new technologies and digital instrument cluster shown in the new Alfa Romeo Tonale. Now, there could be a mod hybrid engine that is also expected, which could bring electrification to the range of the sedan and SUV of the historic Milanese brand. And I know many people are wondering, well, there's probably going to be a price change with this update. At the moment, there are no certainties. And in fact, no official announcements have been made that will eventually arrive only after the presentation of the Alfa Romeo Giulia and Stelvio styling. But keep in mind, there's a good chance that these cars will have a slight increase in prices when this arrival is on the market. And there's talk in Italy around 500 and 1,000 euros more than the current version. Now, this is also due to the increase of the component costs due to the shortage of the microchips and everything going on with supply and demand. Now, as for the range, the mod hybrid versions could have a two liter four cylinder engine with a power of around 300 or 320 horsepower. Furthermore, it seems possible the arrival of a weakened version of this electrified engine with a power of around 240, 250 horsepower could be possible as well. We'll see in the coming weeks if there will be further news on the expected models that will tell us more about the characteristics of the Alfa Romeo range, at least until the arrival of the second generation, which we will not see before 2026. But with that said, what are you guys thinking about seeing all three of these cars testing? We know all about the Gricale, but now we have the Giulia and Stelvio out in full force. And it's really cool to see them with the new tri-LED headlights that are going to be a big step for the Giulia and Stelvio that should have happened a long time ago. But with that said, guys, drop your comments down below. Which one are you more excited to see? The Alfa Romeo Giulia or Alfa Romeo Stelvio for 2023? Or are you ready to see the Gricale on the road in your neighborhood where delivery should start the end of the summer and beginning of the fall? Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on the new 2023 Alfa Romeo Stelvio and Giulia facelift spied testing with the new Maserati Gricale SUV. Now, with that said, if you guys enjoy what I do and want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate that extra love, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. If you want some long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, stickers, hoodies, tank tops, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. So everything I'm posting, Maserati, Ferrari, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.